we were, we were in the same world, mm -hmm. but I mean, I definitely did not go through, you know, the, like that, that unique experience that you were going through. It's, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, different. Yeah. Um, you know, and I also, I was, you know, kind of going to the, the awkward shy thing. Like I, I was so much younger than all of you. So much. Mm -hmm. Um, and you were 13, the, right? I was 12 in the pilot, 13 when Whew. the show started. Yeah. Well, were you the youngest yeah. person on set, or was the mm -hmm. Eric were you oh, guys no. the same age? He's older than me. Oh. He was actually oh, great. Right. When I moved to New York, Connor, Connor and I became friends, and he kind of took me under his wing because um, I was starting high school by the time the show That's was picked right, up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, like anyone, I wanted to go to an actual school to meet people and make friends. That didn't last very long, but yeah. <laughs> but Connor was like, "Come to my school. I'll introduce you yeah. to all my friends." He was a senior. I was a freshman, um, Aww, and so I kind of fell into his his clique of friends for a minute there, but. Uh, Ended up leaving that school and just homeschooling because it was mm. it was too yeah. difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I think it was it, again like not to keep going back to it, but that's where music became such a solace for me. Like it, 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 it thinking back on my life, it was this, it was this place that I, I could just be, I guess, like writing songs and and emoting how I felt mm. because I, I was. Oh, by myself a lot like I never I didn't have my own clique like I didn't fit in with you guys I didn't fit in with Connor's friends I was younger than them I was the new girl mm. I was Grinch girl yeah, I was whatever like I was sounds... always kind of in this this weird isolated world partially of my own creating probably but it's where music kind of became this solace for me where I could um, I don't know, find myself or express yeah. myself mm. and mm -hmm. feel good about myself and, well you're you know. a musician yeah I mean I actually think like in a way, even though I already knew this about you, yeah. I think even hearing it is sort of like both with uh, perspective and time, but also just hearing it right from you and how you've been able to reflect on it. I mean, you, you just you just essentially have always been a musician and you never yeah. really stopped. And that's always been what drives you. And so I think this perception that anyone might have of the fact that you were like an actress turned musician is really not the case. Mm -hmm. No. It doesn't sound like that at all. No, it wasn't. It was a yeah. childhood thing that, you know, I got yeah. I got put into it. So two years old. I wasn't making my own choices then. And literally as soon as I got to an age where I I could make my own decision. It was like a click I don't know exactly what happened but it's like I woke up one morning and went wait a second I don't have mm. to do this mm. I don't have to mm. do this other job I can I can just play in my band and I can tour and write songs and I can I don't that's all I, I can just do that granted a little more complicated to get out of a television show than that but but the yeah. answer was yes like you you can just do that I have the ability to create my life how I want to create it and live my life how I want to live it mm. and that was a I don't know exactly what made that click, but it it did one moment, and it was like a light bulb went off, and I uprooted and changed my whole life kind of overnight. <laughs> but yeah. They went, well, we can't let you out of your deal, but we can write you out of the show so you can go on tour. Hmm. You mm. can't act in anything else. And I went, that's fine. That's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I can't what? <laughs> yeah, I can't <laughs> exactly. Um, Great. They're like, but if you're not in the episode, if we don't write you in the episode, you're not in the episode. Right. And so that's – they yeah. they really – allowed me to to follow my my dream and that's beautiful and so i'm forever grateful and thankful to them for that okay i definitely want to talk about your your career as a musician and it's it's obviously like it's your main thing but i want to just ask a couple of gossip girl questions if that's okay sure. i'll leave for um, you want to you want to go <laughs> <laughs> well actually the first question is for both of you uh what's your first memory of each other on set and what did you think of one another Oh, that's a really good question. Do you even know? Uh, no, I don't. I, mean, I don't either. I feel like we've asked Penn this question like anytime a <laughs> castmate comes on, and he's always like, hmm, what was it? <laughs> well, well you're the first, first memory. Yeah. It's not like I don't have memories or well, share, share a memory. Go. Share a, just, an early memory of Taylor and what just, you thought of yeah, Prove it, So, Penn. I mean, I just remember our scenes being really nice because there was an actual family vibe, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. really held up the like. There's just, a, I mean, especially as a father now. Of, I mean, I have a which is four, crazy. Yeah, though. right. I have a fourteen year old. Congratulations, by thank the way. You. Fourteen year old and a two and a half year old, nearly three. And so, like, your presence brought what I maybe get now as a father a little bit, just like a, a degree of it, which is like when you bring in people, when you bring in children, it just does something very positive, I think, to a mm -hmm. space. And a lot of times in professions. 
people don't feel that way. They're like, ah, these kids, you know, it yeah. kinda, it's like now we can't speak the way we want to speak or we, everything is kind of dumbed down. But I've, I feel kind of the opposite. It's like it takes somebody who's really mature mm-hmm. to, to an honest, you know, to like to be themselves around a younger person. And, and I don't know that I did that, but I'm just, I just. I think you did. Oh, I, thanks. I think you totally did. I mean, my memory of you is. I mean, but I don't have any bad memories of you, so that's good. Great. <laughs> so I don't have any bad memories of you. <laughs> so you and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. Um, <laughs> no, I, I always had fun filming our scenes together, especially in the beginning. We worked a totally. lot. Like, we worked, we worked a, lot, a lot, together. lot together. Yeah, actually, but, but you know, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm almost like, oh, by the end, we really didn't work together. No. At all. No. You were always doing crazy. storyline. I was off being a drug dealer <laughs> yeah. and whatever else they were Wait. writing in. <laughs> You were a drug dealer? I think so. I, I never don't. actually watched the show, and maybe fans yeah, are going to yell at me yeah. about this, but I'm pretty uh, sure they had me dealing drugs at one point. That sounds kind of familiar. Uh, yeah. Sophie, can you corroborate this? I don't remember if you were a drug dealer. It, I There's something with drugs think you probably thrown into a jacket. Been. Yes. Something. So you're yes. a mule. A mule. Yes, drug exactly. mule. Yeah. You were a mule okay. for somebody else. You had a friend. Was it Cara Delevingne? Not Cara. Um, Willa Holland. Oh, that's right. Willa yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you had a friend who like, kind of used you. As a yeah. Oh, Jenny Humphrey. <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah, she burned bright like a meteor. <laughs> you know, you bleach your hair, wear some dark eye makeup, suddenly you're yeah. a drug dealer. Uh. <laughs> Taylor, you're, I think we've actually kind of talked about this indirectly, but your character, Jenny Humphrey, went through a transformation that kind of mirrored... She, she became more and more like you. Mm-hmm. And um, I just wanted to know, because that doesn't always happen, did you lobby for that? Why was that important to you? Sort of why did Jenny go through that transformation? <clears throat> and um, was it like you or was it more I mean I don't you know I mean I'm well, just curious. style wise it definitely started to transition a little bit more to my own personal taste um which I think Eric Damon did that with a, a lot of the characters like he would infuse your own your own kind of personality into the, the wardrobe a little bit definitely. I mean maybe I think for the women for the at women least, at yeah, least I don't the, know about was, the men yeah I think like Blake certainly did a lot of that mm-hmm. Leighton had a hand in that although Blair is so I'm sure Leighton like yeah. doesn't ever want to wear a headband. Yeah, Leighton's way more casual. <laughs> I don't think anyone here wants to wear a headband yeah. ever again. <laughs> I don't know. My hair's getting pretty long. It's, you could pull it off. Uh, He's about to enter his headband era. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that, I mean, the the style aspect. Of, I think part of it was just we want. I don't know if I have the timeline right, but I I cut and bleached my hair at some point and didn't exactly tell anyone. Um, oh yeah, and so a, that you got to tell everybody. Kind of yeah. For, for for those who don't know, it's yes. like you got to your your appearance is managed. It was a uh, we were on hiatus or whatever. Right. Writer's stri- I don't know something. There yeah, was a, there was we a weren't filming strike. for a while, and I changed my hair, and so then we came when we came back. They're like, well, we got to write this in now. Mm-hmm. It was always weird for me being young and suddenly kind of overnight being tabloid famous yeah. um, which is a different kind of famous uh, yeah, yeah, where suddenly they're out the paparazzi's outside your house and they're following you and they're following me taking my sister to school and like mm. just weird you know mm. it's was, it was weird mm. um, and they would photograph me on set like as you as everyone on set because we film in the streets of New York as my character and put it in the tabloids as Taylor Momsen mm. right and say mm. Taylor Momsen's wearing this and Taylor Momsen's blah 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 and that started to really bug me because my identity was getting kind of taken over i guess in a way where like Mm. people had this perception of me that wasn't me and so i became very like hyper aware of how i carried myself i guess and so when i as i started to get older i think eric understood that and he so we started to go okay well we'll dress jenny a little bit more like you we'll Mm. still keep the headband Mm. because that makes it jenny but we'll add the fishnets and we'll darken the eye makeup and we'll make it a little bit more tailorized um, to kind of blend the two. Tailored. So, tailored. <laughs> so to kind of blend the two. And uh, and I think it kept the character organic because as I was growing and changing, they wanted the character to kind of reflect that too. You know, because I think that's... Mm. Totally, yeah. I always. I was them. just thinking though that that might, that's kind of like murky water because if you're already feeling like you are sort, your identity is sort of being collapsed into this character that you're playing... And then they make the character more, like yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it was like, reflecting on it. It was murky, murky water. Um, at the time, mm-hmm. I was sitting there going, "Well, at least I don't hate this outfit." So, yeah. right. like that's that's as, as far as I was thinking. I was going, "Well, I would wear this." Yeah. Like, no, of course. And mm-hmm. I think when you're on television playing a character, it's so different from when you're 
playing a role in a film oh, because 100%. because y your identities aren't collapsed in the same way and it doesn't mm -hmm. last as long and you aren't constantly photographed and confused for being this person because yeah. yeah even i mean i think all of us oh yeah we were always just sort of like struggling with that because we were all young and you were just extremely mm -hmm. young <laughs> I mean, you oh no like, but you guys you know, were all mid. early 20s what well i mean Ed i was 20 was... when we shot the pilot yeah and, you know um and yeah, I mean, we were all we were all struggling with like uh, being mistaken for this person, and and none of us, I think, had the maturity um, mm. to be able to. I don't know, just not take it personally, and to know that it technically yeah. doesn't have anything to do with you. Yeah, so it's it's just so much easier said than done. Yeah, it's like in a relationship. Like, yeah, try not to get angry with your partner. Go ahead. Try. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> good luck with that. Exactly. That's a good way to put it.